is going on, folks? Where'd you go? Oh, I'm over here. Banjo. How are you yeah. feeling about it? Oh, I'm feeling good. You think it's going to happen or what? Yeah. You going to shoot a buck or are you going to shoot a doe? There's a lot of shooter bucks out here. If it's Brown's down. R I mean, first one I see. Oh God, don't say that. <laughs> We're gonna be this gonna be a six second hunt. First, I feel like you might we'll wait it out. Might, might wait it out you a little bit. You tell me and I'll pull the trigger. I'll, I'll let you know where. Trigger. I'll let you know what what's shit. Yeah. There are some shooter bucks out here. Well, we are at the ranch, ladies and gentlemen. It's Banjo's big day. He has never in your entire life ever been deer hunting. One time last year. Okay. Oh, oh, when dingus what showed we, up what do we call him there's a ding was a dingus wait I, I i took an ak-47 out in the woods to go deer hunting and then we got into the woods and there was like somebody's blind there like a full-blown camper blind and i was like oh okay i guess i'll hunt in it you know it's not mine but it's my land so i'm gonna hunt in it so we're out there hunting and it's like five o'clock prime time we're hearing him running around dingus comes driving his truck in the field comes up to banjo and is like what are you doing in my you field my hunt. you ruined my hunt my it's hunt. my own land my yeah. land that i have permission to hunt on and he's like get out me feel it you're ruining me hunt i'm just like what are you talking about so anyways that guy's a idiot but that was the last time banjo went hunting yeah that's it so we need to make up for it. we got to do we got to do do better than that so we're not messing with dingus you know i don't know what he's doing in his life but we are out the ranch in banjo's days today where he is going to shoot a deer hopefully we are going to go i brought a heater for you too it'll okay. be nice and warm yeah because it's going to be a little nipply up there but we're going to go climb up in a, a big old stand we have been hunting on and off and, and seeing some some deer there are some shooters and the freak is still alive so it could happen it could happen the freak could the, the freak could step out the freak's got a, a, a younger brother that looks pretty cool i mean there's a lot Lot of really good shooters but there's also a lot of good deer does for you to shoot if you're just a brown it's down kind of guy so the plan is we're gonna get everything loaded up in the mule and get geared up get all of our, our bucks hunting orange gear on and climb up in there and see if banjo can lose his deer virginity we had an idea you know how Nel nelk did their virgin olympics what if we did the white tail virgin olympics we take th like three or four dudes who've never been deer hunting you get somebody he gets somebody i get somebody chase gets somebody we all film it and whoever shoots the first deer wins we get like a big cup like that i feel like i feel like we should do it after shooting light a minute after yeah it just makes war zone so I don't, if you guys want to see the Virgin Whitetail Olympics next year, I feel like we, we've got the place, the ranches could facilitate something like that. So anyways, we're going to quit talking. We got to get everything loaded up. We'll see you guys up in the blind. Stay tuned. Only the bougiest for banjo. Oh yeah. That would only come out if I had heat. Got the guy to This is the first time we've ever had heat. Like this is like, we're starting to, we're starting to get all fogged up here. Right there. There's banjo. Well, it's toasty in here. We'll probably, honestly, we'll probably just, we'll just let it heat up in here and then kill it. So that way it's not like putting fumes out. A lot of you guys commented saying that like, the deer don't care about it. I'm like, they can smell my musty underwear, but not freaking propane. Like, yeah. everyone's like, oh no, I use propane heaters all the time on a deer hunt. But they're like, but make sure you shower on some special shampoo. I'm yeah. like, that's some horror. You know what I'm saying? What do you, what do you think? Do you think they can smell the propane? Yeah, but it's not, doesn't smell like humans. They're not scared of propane. Really? Okay, well, anyways, we're set up. What time is it? 6.25. Okay, I got about 10 minutes. Um, we're probably not going to do a whole lot of looking and trying to shoot, unless the freak comes out. We need to keep an eye out for that guy just in case stuff gets squirrely. But for the most part, I think we're just going to let the sun come up, let the deer run around, and then see kind of what we're dealing with once the sun comes out. And uh, hopefully get something down on the ground, so stay tuned.
how tempting was it to shoot that deer right there? I wanted it, dude. He was a stud. I, it's like, I know some of you guys are like, bro, why didn't you let Banjo shoot that buck? But the thing is, if Banjo comes back next year or the next year, that would be, I mean, he's a wall hanger, but I mean a wall hanger. Part of what we're doing out here on the ranch is, is you know, trying to shoot the right target bucks. You know, the buck I shot with my bow, a solid deer, we were guessing probably four years old. He wasn't anything like just stupid crazy, but you know, he came in 15 yards. He's going to, he's going to catch that arrow if you know what I'm saying. But rifle, we're able to be a little bit more picky. And as you've seen, we have been, we've been picky, like letting some good shooters. I mean, they're all shooters. But I want this place to be like something magical in like two to three years. Um, this is our first season hunting it, so now we're able to manage it. So if a big, if like a mature old doe or deer comes out, or or doe, but buck comes out, band is gonna lay down the hammer. But if not, I mean, there's so many does. You've already we've already seen a bunch of does as you guys have seen. Like they're just they're out there frolicking right now. So might shoot a doe. We're gonna we'll hold out for a little bit longer. You know, we want a mature buck to come out, but again, at the same time, like to me, it's equally as important to shoot does as it is bucks right now so we can get the herd managed. There's so many does out here, which is great. Like, you know, you can't complain, but people always talk about doe management and, you know, thinning the herd out and, you know, the next generation. So that's, that's a priority too. So a super easy way to manage does is with a rifle because obviously you can reach out and poke. So anyways, you saw he, he crawled back in the woods. He's doing, I don't know, what do you, you think that was probably a three-year-old? Yeah, it's probably three and a half. The thing is, I have, I won million. So he was a, I think he was a nine point. I'd have to go back and look at the photos again, but I know I've got him on camera because you look at his face and he's young. He's got that like real white patch and he's like a light brown. He, he He's not like big girthy rut looking. He don't have, wide he don't, he don't have the wide neck, you know, like the guy off, was yeah, it Vine? Was it TikTok? Neck. Wide neck. Wide neck. He, he was more of a long, he was like long neck. Yeah. Long neck, not wide neck. We're, we're looking for wide neck, not long neck. Long and skinny, to me, shows that like it's probably a little bit younger. Um, so we passed on that buck. That doesn't mean we're not going to shoot a buck today, but we're passing on him for now. Next generation, we're going to sit here for a little bit longer and sun's starting to come up now. So we'll see if we get another buck or maybe we get some more does to show and uh, banjo lays down the hammer. So you guys stay tuned. Done. Dropped. Let's go. Dropped. No Banjo. Way. Dropped her. No dropped her. Dropped. She's down, bro. She's down. She dropped. She dropped. She dropped, bro. Heck yeah. Dude, she dropped. I was like, I'm on her. I as well just send it. Dude, she's down, bro. She's down in the field right now. You dropped her. She didn't she didn't go half a yard, bro. Let's go. Not half a yard. She's down, bro. She's literally down. Oh my god. Dude, that was a far shot. My, bro. Dude, my range runners wouldn't even reach. That's like, Ooh. dude, that's pushing 200 yard shot. That's far, bro. That's that's 720. far. 720. 720 a.m. and you're tagged out, buddy. What that's a, a nice dog, dude. She's down, bro. Told you, if it's brown, it's down. Dude. If it's brown, it's down, baby. Oh, there's a there's a deer right there. That's just dumber than hell. <laughs> she said it's to the right of her. Oh, See her in the cedars. Just chilling there. I wish I could get a range because that's far, bro. I know the edge of that plot's about 200, and she was about to the edge of it. The all six five done did it, son. <laughs> <laughs> that is so exciting, dude. dude. Because they do not move. Just yeah. she's down. Like she's literally dead right now. We can go grab her right now. Dead, gone. See you later, dude. It Good wasn't. Me. It wasn't the young stud. But we're here to, to to manage the deer. The the buck we saw, as you guys know, was it was a nice one. But he was young. Like you could just tell in his face, he's young. Like a three year old, he's young. Dude, like you got, it's like a bass. Let him go. Let him grow. It's like a five pounder. Sometimes you just want to catch and cook the twos. You don't always have to catch and cook the fives. It's bass fishing, deer hunting is kind of similar. Management. Except the only difference is when a bass gets to six pounds, I release it. When a deer gets to six years old, that's when it gets shot. But those like three to four pounders, the three to four year old deer, let them go, let them grow. There's so many does out here. I mean, we had, we've already seen like six and it's 720 or whatever. Like there's going to be more. We can literally sit in here all day long and see does. Like 
Dough management is something. And that was, he, Banjo picked like the, the biggest one out of the four. The other three looked like two year olds, like still had a kind of a snubby nose. I think you got like a three year old where it's just a good, yeah. got enough meat worth the harvest, mm -hmm. but thinning out the herd and giving some good dough management. So, dude, that, I can't believe she just dropped. <laughs> that bro. was so. <laughs> she's, she's damn. She's down. down. You don't even have to ask if she's down. No, you know she's down. Is she down? She's, she's right. Down. She's, she's down. down. She's right. That was epic, dude. Just smoked her. Oh. She didn't stand a chance. Well, we'll give her. We'll give her 15 minutes, and then <laughs> we'll go grab her. Now, yeah, we just got to decide what we want to do now. Sheesh, we got have back straps for lunch. We're gonna have food. We got to figure out what we want, how we want to cook her, cook her up. Jalapeno pop. We, so dude, but we could have breakfast at this rate. Yeah. Give me an hour, and I'll have her skinned up and ready to go. We'll have some deer and eggs. Back strap and some eggs, some scrambled eggs or something like that. But that would be good nice. shooting, banjo. That was clutch. So that was the first time you've ever been deer hunting. Yeah. Pretty, you know, pretty yeah. much. First time you ever shot at a deer. How many times have you shot like a rifle like this in your life? Like a bigger rifle? Not too many times, Not, right? Never really. I mean, <laughs> an AR is about all. Yeah, an AR, sure. which, today, is, which yeah. is close. Today. Yeah, today. Today. It's the first time I think shot your 6.5 ever. Yeah. The thing is, I've never even killed anything with it, but my dad killed something with it. You killed something with it. The Guggen Uncut member killed oh, something yeah. with it. Austin. So both, both Austin and this gun go yeah, well yeah. together Trump's because I like it. the deer just, they don't even go two, two yards. Yeah. <laughs> they don't go anywhere. <laughs> Anyways, good shooting. We'll give her some time to do her thing. I've heard of horror stories walking up on them and they're just like, Yeet. imagine that. I don't think the 6.5 would let her do that though. I think that's got her down for the count. So anyways, you guys stay tuned. We got the meal. We are ready to go to Troop Angels Deer. We actually ended up sitting for a little while just to see what would happen. And zero happened. Like literally nothing. Everything got skirted once we shot, which is fine. Um, not a huge deal, but we wanted to sit, let the sun come up. It's actually kind of cold out here. I'm glad we had that little heater in there, man. Yeah, I mean, nice. yeah, it's like actually chilly out here. So we're going around the plot right now. And as you can imagine, Banjo's deer did not budge. So say, do you think we're going to find it? There's not a whole lot of tracking involved in this one. I don't, th I don't think there's a whole lot of tracking involved. But. Sheesh! Oh, God, yeah. There she is. She's sleeping. She's taking the snoozer. Well, that's a, dude, that's a perfect eating dough. Absolutely. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Sheesh. Good eating dough. Let's go check her out. Shoo, Banjo. What you got going on there, buddy? Yeah. There you go. There you go. How do you, how you feel about your first dough? Your good. first deer, I should say. I Does it have nuts? I don't think so. No, we're I good. It is a dough, in fact. Yeah. I feel good. I feel like I, she, it could have been a smaller one I shot. So oh, there's I'm happy you got it, the biggest you know? of the bunch. She's not a you know? she's not a mega. No, that's a solid. But dough. that's a solid Is this dough. How I take my picture. That's it, right there. Dude, it's a solid yeah. dough. She's got the face of a like a little one, but like her body's big. Yeah. That's why I like yeah. look for nuts for a second. I was like, bro. Is it a button buck? Because the body's actually pretty. Size, yeah. But like, if you take out the head, it's a big doe. Like, it's a j good sized doe. But the face makes it looks like just like a little baby. But it was the biggest of the herd. I mean, you saw how many there were out here. It's yeah. we don't have any shortage of does out here. So first deer. We're gonna go back, get her gutted up. If you're watching this on Uncut, you get to watch a skin. This banjo gets to gut his first deer and take a bite out of the heart, right? Hey, Isn't that the plan? So I, I think it's. I did it on my first yeah. dog. I feel like it's. It's. You did on yours too. Yep. I mean, for uncut, I'll do it. For uncut, if you guys are watching this on uncut, which is linked in the description, uncut banjo's gonna take a bite of the heart, uh, and we're gonna gut it and show you guys how to do all that, and then we're gonna see. We'll have to figure out what what cut of meat we want off this sucker and how we're gonna prepare. We'll have to figure that out later. But for now, we're gonna load her up in the mule and get her skinned up. You guys stay tuned. You wanna rinse it off or no? Oh yeah, buddy, get in there. Good soup. Good soup. So for your shot, you clipped a little lung. So here's one side of the lung. The other side you clipped right there. But dude, you literally severed the heart. Yeah. Shoo! Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, ready to cook up Banjo's tendies. Banjo's in here. See, Banjo's the type of guy, he's gonna be here when we eat it, I promise, because he always is. Banjo's the type of guy to come out to the ranch, shoot a deer, and he's like, you can clean it, and I'm gonna go home, and then you call me when the foods are, I'm just giving Banjo a hard time. He's busy, big business guy this time of year. But we've got his tenderloins, what are you thinking? You, 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 you laughed when I told you we were doing jerky. You, you just shook your head. You're like, oh, this guy's going to get just destroyed in the comments. But Flaming we've up. tried so many different recipes for tenderloin. I'm like, dude, I just love jerky. I love beef jerky. And we were originally thinking just to dehydrate the whole thing, but I think it's a little thick. That's a bad idea. She's a little thick. It's going to be a little rubbery and leathery. And yeah, Lucy would probably still like it. But it would be, um, be a little doggy. The world's most expensive, best tasting dog. Lucy's like, hell yeah, keep saying more. I'm down. You got my vote. We're gonna try slicing this in the little slicer guy in hopes that it'll cut this up 
to the right dimensions. I don't know if it will or will not. I mean, to me, it doesn't look much different than a goose breast other than you've already sliced it, you know, width wise. So we're gonna hopefully get some good slices. We've got some jerky seasoning and then I've got some hickory smoke marinade and some liquid smoke. So we're gonna go ahead and marinate for probably 24 to 48 hours like usual. And then, you know, put on the dehydrator for five, six hours as usual. And we should be good to go. And we're gonna see what it's like when you take a tenderloin out of a deer and make jerky. That is the plan. What do you think? Is it, is it broken? I think we're ready to roll. Oh, we're ready, okay. I'll try this guy first. Does it matter which way you go, you think? Uh, I'm pretty sure I went this way yeah, last I think time. it goes that way. All right, here we go. Oh, that oh. worked, look at that. She Oh, a little stringy, but hey, that'll work. Okay, see, this will, I'm telling you, it's inventions. This invention's the deal. There is your deer jerky. It actually made a lot of pieces too. If yeah, you really think about it, like, well, you see, we we can see. Yeah, yeah, I don't think goose usually has all that type of jazz. We'll have to do a little bit of manicuring. But what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and lay these bad boys out. It actually made a lot more jerky than I thought. Like for some reason, I was seeing just like a couple pieces, but it's really not that bad. So what we'll do is lay this out like this type of stuff. You probably don't need that in there. Go ahead and get rid of that and lay it out. I mean, if it if it was like a real big deer, I feel like you'd actually get quite a bit of jerky off of a tenderloin. Imagine doing that the back strap, just like feeding it back strap, way. just <laughs> all the way down. That's, uh, that's what we gotta do that next. Comment down below, what, how should we cook the next deer? Uh, you guys have commented some pretty good ideas. I wanna, I wanna hear your favorite recipes, different cuts of meat. I mean, we've done the shank, we've done a rump roast, we've done back strap, we've done obviously the tenderloins. I don't, I mean, I wouldn't say, I don't know what's left. There's lots of left. I'm just wanna know what your guys' favorites are. I'm sure there's still gonna be some more deer to be catch clean cooked this season. So let me know what you guys your favorite cut of meat is or how to prepare. I want to try like unique and different stuff. Everyone knows how to, you know, season up a back strap, throw it on the old pellet grill for a couple hours, but I want to try some more unique stuff. And this is probably one of the more unique ones. Okay, jerky's laid out. Now you've got your seasoning right here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is season these bad boys up. So just, I usually just go with even coat and then I'll flip them, go on the other side. And basically, I think we did like a half a pound of meat, which I don't even think this is probably half a pound of meat, but go ahead and season these bad boys up and then go ahead and get Give them the old flip, season them up again. Like I said, we're gonna throw even a little extra marinade in there, a little extra liquid smoke. I don't think you can really go overboard when it comes to the jerky. I mean, I've marinated mine for, you know, almost a week and it's the best damn jerky you ever did half. It's it's really good. The longer that you let it kind of soak and whatnot, I don't think it's like too strong. As long as it's not too salty, you're in business. So go ahead and pour the rest of this on there just like so. I would say we did all right on the seasoning. We're just about, just about out. You can take it and Throw it in there, make sure you sweep up all this. And actually what I'll do is I'm gonna take a Ziploc so we can just go ahead and do it in one, one big swoop. So go ahead and take the Ziploc, now that everything's kind of evenly coated and seasoned. Throw your meat in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and take some of that hickory smoke marinade and throw a little bit of that in there as well, just to add to it. I mean, I've done Worcestershire, I've done soy sauce, I mean, teriyaki sauce, you can kind of do whatever, but we're going like full blown hickory. It's hickory, that was hickory, uh, hickory jerky seasoning, and then hickory, and then just a little bit of liquid smoke. Let's see what this thing says. Does it tell you how much? I feel like this stuff's like somewhat potent. It's kind of, yeah, it's like, wow, that's tough. Really, really potent. Potent, yeah. potent. Potent. It's like soy sauce, like a little yeah, goes yeah. a long way. Uh -huh. So we'll just go ahead and give her just a little bit. Nothing too wild and crazy. Go ahead and seal this bad boy up. Give her a little shake. Another thing you can do too, if you really like it seasoned. Oh, I gotta get some more marinade in there. Uh, you can always, when you lay them all out, to, like you can put some on top of the jerky before it even goes in the dehydrator. So it's got like a fresh, and you can even use like an all meat or something that's like different, more of just like a salty flavor. So that way there's actual seasoning on top of it and not just like soaked into the meat kind of thing. Cause you know, uh, technically all the seasoning is gonna kind of wash off with this. I mean, it'll soak in it, but you know, once you put it on the, the dehydrator, there's not gonna be a whole lot of like little kernels of it left or whatever. So there you go. There's. Banjo's tenderloin, gonna get marinated at least 24 hours, maybe 48, we'll see. Well, I'll talk to Banjo, see when he can come out here. See when we throw him on the dehydrator and get to cooking and then eat, so stay tuned. Shoo, big deer guy. Shoo. You excited? Yeah, it tastes better than the deer heart. Give wow. that a whiff. Oh yeah, if you guys are watching this uncut, you saw Banjo eat the deer heart and well, he did. What do you think about that? Ooh. I'm thinking I'm figuring out the marinade strat. What is it? Okay, so Sounds I got- good. I got it smells like smoky. Yep, okay, so I got liquid smoke in there okay, just yep. a little bit. 
Then I got hickory smoke marinade and then hickory seasoning and cure. I mean, it's hickoryed out. Hopefully like hickory. So um, we are going to get this sucker dehydrated today. Isn't that right, Lucy? Not for, well, maybe for you. I, how pissed would people be if I was like, oh, oh these are flaming on dog treats. Yeah. Like, oh, you guys, you guys would kill me. But it smells absolutely fantastic. So it's been, I can't keep my day straight. It's either been two or three days in the marinade. I mean, it's been marinated to the point where I don't think it can marinate any longer. We want to make sure it is full of flavor. So what we're going to do is we got this guy right here and i'm gonna go ahead we're gonna mix it up a little bit i was talking with jake you guys saw us kind of get everything ready to go when you put this liquid liquid stuff in there it washes off the seasoning right like it's still in it but it's not on it i don't know if that makes sense so i'm gonna put seasoning over the top just a little bit a little bit over the top of half of it i don't think it'll be over seasoned it might be or it could just be like the perfect amount so what we're gonna want to do i'm actually gonna grab a glove here we're gonna, we're gonna take this sucker out oh dude these are gonna be flaming out i better put it up here these dogs are gonna snatch it the second they can little thieves they are she oh she that wasn't a deer here don't worry look at that oh my gosh it like it, within when it's like wet like this it almost looks like it's just like ready to eat right now yeah, i'm like i kind of smells wanna, amazing i kind of want to try a little deer sushi right now not gonna lie M millet can you not look at these these are big big mac daddy strips quite a bit of meat came off of these surprisingly it was like you know you're dealing with two little strips i'm like oh geez we threw it through a little slicer and we've got we got a full-blown meal going on here so go ahead and let this strip off like so we're just gonna throw this down lay it out and half of it like so we'll cover with a little bit more of hickory just in case it needs it i don't think it's not gonna lack flavor but having a little external seasoning i don't think ever hurts anybody especially when it's like hickory or something really, really good tasting. So we're gonna throw them on. I don't know how long we'll go for. Usually, and I pick the slower one. This one cooks a little slower than the other one because Banjo and I have a big, big day ahead of us. We're gonna, we're gonna take off. We're gonna head down the ranch and film a different video and then we'll be back to taste them. But we don't wanna overcook it. So I got Papa Beefcake. He'll be on babysitting duty for this jerky just to make sure it doesn't go over. But if I were to take a random guess, I'm guessing five to six hours is my guess of how long this thing's gonna take. I think that's... Oh, we got one more straggler. Oh, nope, we got a couple little guys here. Just a couple. God, dude, the smells are intense. Like, oh my, mm, I don't know if I've ever, I don't know if I've ever marinated quite like this before. Bingo, bango, bongo, right there. Boom, bop, beep. Okay. Whoa, this goes down to, this goes down to 100 degrees. What cooks at 100? I feel like, uh, Cheese? That's not good. You're not cooking at 100. Because again, we could do low and slow. You smoke at like, what do you smoke at? 150? I think I normally cook this at like 160, 100. but since we're going to be gone, yeah. I feel like we should just do low. Right, can you go wrong with low and slow? Like, I mean, the internal temp just needs to get to like, I mean, medium rare steak is like 135. I don't think that's anything to do with jerky, but I'll do, I think five hours, six hours. What do you think? Five or six? Probably six if you're going slower. Okay, boom. See you guys in six hours. Shoo! Well, Banjo, I'm not sure this was the strat. It hadn't, I mean. Why does it look like that? I don't think there's enough fat in the deer tenderloin to make jerk. I don't know, but I feel like, I was like, dude, this gonna be the filet mignon, but then, we cooked it for three hours at 145. Okay, I mean, it shouldn't, it would should still be grunting at us at this rate, right? This sucker is drier than the Sahara Desert. Okay, and I'm not sure it's gonna taste all that great. It's all cooled off. I mean, you can see here, but the texture, you got here, look at this. The texture is of that of sandpaper. I mean, it's not, tastes good. I was gonna say, honestly, my piece didn't taste that bad. You got a little thin one. I picked a little chunky guy. I mean, the flavor's really good. I don't hate it. And it just got like a, whenever we shouldn't have sliced it so thin. Should we have cooked it as one tenderloin and dehydrated a single tenderloin instead of slicing it? I was nervous about it being too thick, but I feel like it's too thin. It's a little dry, but the flavor's there. I would say the marinade, okay. I gotta find one I overly seasoned, remember that? I think this one was seasoned. Yeah, you definitely got seasoned there. I think this, this looks like seasoning too. I don't know what I just ate, but I oh. like it. I like the flavor. The flavor is it, oh. the thicker piece is better. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I got a thick piece right here. But it's. I mean, you guys, it is dry. I mean, that ain't that ain't the deal. It's dry. If you like dry jerky, like real dry, it's not. But you notice, it's not tough. Mm -mm. It's when have you fun. ever cooked jerky this dry and it not been like ripping your molars out? You yeah. know. So that goes to prove that the tenderloin it was tender, but. I think it dried out too quickly to the point where I don't know. 
What, you flash cook it for an hour? Like, I don't know what, what's the alternative. Did we do that 110 that we were talking about? That you're... Maybe the 110 is a strat, 110 degrees maybe. I will say the flavor is like a nine out of 10 for me. Yeah. The texture is probably like a five or a six for me. It's not awful. Yeah. It's very tender. It is, it is tender. Yeah. But it's got kind of this like almost gummy. Yeah. And maybe if it's a marinade or what, I feel like we're gonna get in trouble if we do backstrap because I feel like I can make it taste better. Honestly, that'd probably be better. I bet it'd be better. It's, it's more be fat. Better. Yeah. There's more yeah. fat. Well, the thing what I was thinking think? of too is when most people cut jerky, yeah. they usually go against the grain. Oh, obviously. What, what do we do there with, with the grain? It. That's why it's so like long and uh, stringy. Like, you know, it's like falling apart no. in long strings. So we should have made nuggets, is what you're telling me. Yeah, like little we should, points. We should have like made chips. We should have made little cubes yeah. or something like that. I don't Let, know. If you guys have ever made jerky with a tenderloin, which I highly doubt most of you have, is it good? Did we mess it up? Or is this just the, the end result that you can expect? It's just, I mean, it's dry. Yeah. I don't, I mean, I don't know. Like, it's, yeah, it's got this gummy. It does. But I didn't expect to be like Maybe that. backstrap, maybe. Or do we grind it up, maybe mix in a little pork, something that's got a little fat content, and do like the, either the snack sticks or like the jerky gun. Because I feel like the meat has potential to be the best jerky on planet Earth. Not when you dehydrate it at 145 for three hours. That, I'll tell you, that's not the strength. Yeah. So, comment down below what you guys think. Hey, be gentle. See, she's gentle, watch this. Gentle. There, there, see, there's my whole hand. Yeah, there goes, there goes the old knuckle. Lucy didn't understand when she's biting that it causes harm. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Banjo, congrats on the deer. That's what I'm talking about. The, the good news is, you took the rest of it to the processor. Yeah. You don't have to rely on my cooking yeah. to eat the rest of his deer. That's why we did the tenderloin, one, because I didn't want to take, I don't want to sacrifice a bunch of Banjo's deer meat for the video. He wants to take it home and keep it in his freezer and snack and all season long like you guys do. So, the good news is you'll probably have better snack sticks coming in a couple weeks or so. Uh, but yeah, I would just not recommend the tenderloin. You can make a tenderloin taste a lot better. I thought I was onto something. Sometimes you just gotta take the L in life. And today is one of them days. Fat L. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll count. I'll see you on the next one and peace.